look at the defensive postures differently. Um, we have the training area and uh, some of the uh, close to the um, uh, ridge of that uh, hill on uh, our right hand side. Admiral Robert P. Burke, Commander Allied Joint Force Command Naples, visited Romania to meet with NATO commanders and observe NATO forces at the Cincu training area. Out of April 2022. The visit included exchanges with commanders from the Multinational Division Southeast, Multinational Corps Southeast, leaders of the Romanian Joint Force Command and NATO Force Integration Unit, as well as supporting NATO commanders. Admiral Burke is the commander of NATO's Joint Task Force South and East, responsible for the strengthening of NATO's eastern flank and the further integration of national defence plans with the broad defence of NATO alliance in the Black Sea region. As commander, Allied Joint Forces headquarters in Naples, Italy, Burke directs a combined staff representing NATO's 30 allies responsible for planning, preparing and conducting military operations throughout the Supreme Allied Commanders Europe's area of responsibility. The command oversees three efforts across the Western Balkans, the Kosovo Force, NATO Headquarters Sarajevo and the NATO Military Liaison Office in Belgrade. The command is also responsible for NATO's mission in Iraq. His visit comes at a time of challenge and change for NATO forces following the Russian illegal invasion of Ukraine. NATO's four established enhanced forward presence multinational battalion sized battle groups in Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania and Poland deployed after Russia's illegal annexation of Crimea in 2014 and led by the United Kingdom. Canada, Germany and the United States respectively, has now expanded with allies having agreed to establish four more multinational battle groups in Bulgaria, Hungary, Romania and Slovakia. NATO leaders meeting during an extraordinary summit in Brussels on 24th of March 2022 approved the establishment of these four new multinational battle groups in Eastern Europe. France will lead a battle group in Romania, the Czech Republic one in Slovakia and Bulgaria and Hungary will lead battle groups on their own territory. The Czech-led battle group will have troops from Germany, the Netherlands, Poland, Slovakia, Slovenia and the United States. Since 2014, the NATO Response Force battle groups, which is designed to provide a rapid military response in a crisis, has grown from 13,000 to more than 40,000 troops. The majority of these forces have been stationed in Eastern Europe to allay fears along the military bloc's border with Russia. These Polish troops are here conducting training with Romanian and the French troops. French forces are leading the battle group in Romania. The Polish are operating the KTO Rosenmak, an 8x8 multi role military vehicle with free crew it can carry 8 passengers. Infantry carriers appear to be the vehicle of choice today, with Romanian soldiers operating the very, very new Piranha 5, an 8x8 infantry fighting vehicle. Again, operates with a crew of three and eight passengers. And the French forces have brought along the VAB armoured personnel carrier with a crew of two and able to carry ten passengers.
P2, les coups sont tombés euh, sur vos objectifs. Ah. Efficacité, efficacité, charge 5 par 4. Feu ouais. Ouais, ouais, fais comme ça. Euh, P1 prend la lisière. Ouais. L'arbre euh, en haut là, euh, en, haut de, en haut de la lisière. En haut de là, en plus là. Ouais, mais le, pas le gros, le petit. Vu l'arbre là Il y en a au plus blanc là, c'est aussi. Ok, allez. P1, P2. Ah ouais, ça descend. Le but en fait, l'intérêt entre vous, et c'est en fait c'est votre mouvement de quand vous allez pousser sur vos jambes, c'est ça en fait qui va permettre d'extraire. Après, je suis pied sur mes genoux, donc en fait, je vais bien le plaquer contre moi et. En fait... Pousse sur les pieds, pousse Oh putain, il faut branler vraiment le machin, voilà. Non mais vraiment. 